What's up guys, I'm Matthew Master Pals, and today we've got top 5 combos from CBT, or 40 CBT3. So, basically, uh, these combos are just ones I liked a little bit more than others. There's a lot of cool combos, but a lot of this is just, you know, personal preference. You know, nitpicking, maybe a certain combo just doesn't move the needle for me, even though it's, you know, really good or really cool. Um, maybe I prefer a combo or a part used in a different way, you know, like... Um, for example, I prefer wing with defense to be lower than, you know, like, uh, Rafi's was. Um, I don't like Scythe as high as well. I, I feel like, I like Ethan's combo stand, but I'm not sure I like Scythe quite this high, you know, on, like, SR200. Just not my thing. This is a really good looking combo, though. Um, but, you know, just random preference, right? You know, because I gotta choose, and sometimes it can be hard. So, honorable mention, I'm, I'm gonna do double ladder bros. Uh, I like this combo. Wing CS was pretty cool. It sadly got a spin stealer. But I really like the Gasher and the Face Bolt. I think they look really good, and he made a great choice with that. And 85 CS allowed me to put the blue together too, so I just made a really, overall, was able to make a really nice combo, right? Or he made a really nice combo. Um, I said just go with the lowest thing possible, but that ended up being, you know, blue and blue, so it just worked out. He made a great combo, and I had good colors to make it, and it was good. It just got a bit unlucky. Well, it got really good luck facing two attack bays right away, and it beat them, but then I got a Spin Stealer. But Arm Bunch goes Double Water Bros. Number five, I'm going to give it to Jerry. Uh, I talked about how much I hate this combo and how annoying it is, but it is a great looking combo. Uh, Scorpio fits well with Flash. You know, Gemius on the other hand, right? Um, you know the little place right here where the energy ring fits in? Gemios, um, it's more up and down. You know, it's the opposite direction of Scorpio. So it doesn't look as good with like Flash, you know? I think Azeroth is the same way. But Scorpio, Cetus, Orion, all look really good with Flash. Um, and then also this is a beautiful looking Scorpio, and I love this red and this face bolt. And then the S130 and R squared F are both really cool looking, it's just a great looking bay. It was also really good. Uh, it still has not had to face a defense type, as I knocked out two defense types and then lost to him twice in a row. Still very salty about that. He lost to Helio after self-KOing twice. Uh, knocked Helio into the wall and then self-KO'd. Very unfortunate for Jerry. But this is still a really cool combo and a really good combo, so... Definitely the color, though, helps. So this was different colors. Maybe I wouldn't put it at number five and it's just something else. But I love the colors of this bay, so. Uh, number four, I didn't actually think this through at all. I'm going to give it, though, to, or at least the order, uh, Show Hideyuki with Metal Face Beat Orion, CH120RF. So this comes down to two things. First of all, unlike Eagle, for example, where the wings are right here and then it's really thin right here, because of Orion's shape, even though it's, oh, sorry, I'm getting out of the camera. Um, so Eagle's wings are right here, and it's really thin over here. Because Orion's shape is a bit wider, well, that, I guess, makes it look a bit more awkward with Beat than if this was turned 90 degrees. It makes it easy to actually take out, which is very big. And I was able to put the Aquario uh, Metal Face here, which is nice. I feel like if you go with a defense combo for Aquario, you can put the Metal Face in, but if you have stamina like me, you don't really want the, a metal face on a stamina bay, so it wouldn't make much sense. And attack bays a lot of times have things like Scorpio on them, um, and other, like Pisces goes to screw and Uranus goes to screw, Herogium. And you don't really put things like Aquario and Bull, even though they're the heaviest, with attack wheels as much. So this is a good, um, this is a good energy ring to put Aquario with. Um, but also, I particularly just really like Beat. I'm a big fan of, I'm sorry, it keeps getting blurry. There's, if I put it, if I point the camera down more uh, out of the background, then does the exact same thing, you just see less background. Uh, but I like Beat a lot, I just think Beat's a cool part, so... That's really what helps this combo for me in my eyes. It was really cool seeing somebody do Beat, it was easy to get Orion out, and it looked really good. It's a good looking combo, so... Show Hidey UK is my number four. Then my number three, I'm gonna give it to Ethan. Ethan Kalbeck with Metal Face Feather, Death Sagittario B145 EDS. He's run this combo with Scythe as well, and I, uh, Leon in a Feather Face. Uh, I just overall like this. I like the combination of stamina with a bit more defense. You know, EDS isn't quite as easy to KO as a WD tip. You know, BD145 and Death both give some nice defense, though it's not as good against, like, Flash, but, you know, that's fine. Um, but yeah, overall, I like the combo, and I'm glad I gave him the Hyperblade Sagittarius, because at first, it allowed me for some really cool color combinations, and maybe I'll show off a few of them real quick as I'm talking, uh, if I remember to. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll show a few of them off, you know, and uh, with the, the hue changing. But you can make a lot of really cool colors, but even base one looks really good. It looks better with this feather face than the original Sagittario, or the Scarotomi one. And I can keep the Scarotomi face bolt on that Sagittario because that Sag face bolt's a lot better than this one, which is uh, 
thankfully nearby me, but it's very, very difficult to see that. <laughs> so, Ethan, I think it was a cool combo. He got really unlucky getting the Spin Stealer right away. I think he honestly could have gone all the way, maybe because I went WD. Though he's a bit tall too, so maybe he doesn't destabilize me, but he honestly could have had a good chance if he didn't have to get the attack base. You know, if there's no Spin Stealer there, he faces Helio, and well, Helio is Phantom. I think Death, which still has pretty good stamina, and EDS, you know, has more than CS. I think Ethan would edge it out, though I don't know for sure. But I'm just assuming that Death is close enough to Phantom that EDS would out stamina CS. Uh, but yeah, and Sagittario probably gives a boost over Rusius. But yeah, Ethan has a cool combo. Um, I'm wishing him the best of luck because he is... He was 12 and 5, I think, at one point. Or maybe it was even higher than that. Maybe like 13 and 5 or something. And now he's 20 and 20. I mean, that's that's worse than just about anybody in my tournaments since then. That That is a grand total of like... Or what? No, no. He was 16 and 7, I think, is what it was. So he's like 4 and 13. Which is worse than bait, like anybody um, since that point. Anyway... Number two, Helio. Uh, I might like to root against Helio because I think it's really fun, especially since he's constantly making jabs at EDS and W2D, but Helio made a cool combo. I know I saw Swift make a video on this, and I wasn't sold on it competitively, and it got knocked around a bit by Flash, but, you know, Flash self-KO'd, and it beat Flash in the end. So, I thought it'd be a good CBT combo, and that was turned out to be the fact. It got to the semifinals. Phantom does a great defense, but CS and BD145 definitely helps it out a lot. And despite BD145 not having the most stamina, Phantom completely changes that. So overall, I had a good enough defense, pretty good stamina. It's kind of like the... It's similar to Ethan's Bay, right? Phantom has worse defense than Death does. But CS is a more defense-oriented bottom. So while Ethan put a Fusion Wheel with good stamina, but really good defense with a stamina tip, Helio put a uh, Fusion Wheel with really good stamina, but poor defense with a defense tip. So... I really like this. Also, Blue Horusius looks amazing. If I did not use Phantom, mine's on the purple one. It's impossible to see because of the, the red, but I'm on the purple Phantom. If this was on the purple Phantom, this would look even better, but you know, I, got, I got an orange one. So Obviously, I was going to put my... Even though it's a bit hard to see, so I could have put the orange. I was gonna, I always give myself the card on my Phantom. Unless something looks better with the orange like bull. But anyway, uh, I really like Helios combo. We did a great job with it. I'm interested to see what he does next time because next is limited and 230 is being brought back. Um, T T T Helios, I'm surprised Helio didn't lose 230 here even, uh, but Helio's a big 230 person, so we'll see what he does. Maybe he'll change it up and do something else. When, uh, who knows? But good combo, Helio. I really liked it. Number two. And number one, obviously, Pivotos combo. I'm a big fan of Low Scythe. I think it's really cool. And I like that he went RSF instead of CS or RS, because I was going RS to maximize defense. But this should have... I mean, I didn't test fully with it, but I would assume RSF has still very, very, very good defense. And definitely more stamina than RS would have. Um, he almost beat me. I think WD, WD really hurt me with how, how tall he was, and this was a low bay. But also, uh, while there's a lot of cool things I can go with this purple color that Kronos is, you know, blue gasher and red gasher and pink gasher, all that look great. Uh, I really do like the, the clear gasher with this purple. I think it looks really, really good. Um, I don't even have much of a complaint with the metal face here, because even though the stickers are a bit orange, you know, the face bolt's orange, and I guess that'd look alright with purple, but it really doesn't look all too bad with the metal face either, especially with the clear. Um, but this is a really cool combo, and I really like it. I'm a big fan of Low Scythe. I almost used it, but I knew there was interest in it, including Pivotov. Uh, I'm glad at least he went Low Scythe, since um, Warborg didn't. Not a bad combo by Warborg. I'm not as big of a fan, though, at Scythe at this height, but this was a very good-looking combo overall. But anyway, that's my top five. Uh, tell me which combos you guys liked if you want. Um, I'm not trying to like diss on anybody's combos. So none of the combos are bad. There's no bottom five. Um, these are just a few that stood out to me that I liked a lot. So you guys can let me know in the comments below any that you liked. Uh, and yeah, next tournament will be limited. Uh, I mentioned in the finals or something like two weeks. I was thinking in terms of when I recorded it, not when it was going live. Because it's going live like, you know, five days after the fact um that i recorded or so uh i would not expect one until after school starts which is the 22nd because if i've got my days right today's the 8th or the 9th it might be the 9th is it the 9th i think it's the 9th so that'd be 10 11 12 the finals would be the 12th and yeah that'd be a pretty short turnaround for a cbt so it probably won't be until after the 22nd uh when school starts 
I'll try to do a tournament though for limited maybe this weekend or something since I don't have any. My online class starts next week. So maybe do that before the online class starts. Though I don't think the first week's going to be anything major. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.